like an arrow. Okay, so we control D, undo, and go to view, print size, and that puts it right back to where we want it. Okay, tab button to bring our menus back. And we're going to go in here and look at the eyeball. See, we got the same thing happening here in the flesh, the eyeball and the little piece of wheat. So we go to the flesh, make it blue, have our magic wand tool selected, hold down the control key, click, image, or I'm sorry, edit, stroke, and it's all the defaults are still there. You, what you put in four, black, and center. Okay, there that is. Control D. And then we'll do the same thing with the yellow. Click on the yellow, hold down, make sure your magic wand tool's selected, hold down the control key, yellow, edit, stroke. Okay, control D to deselect it. The blue, select it, make sure the magic wand tool is selected, hold down the control key, it's selected the blue, stroke. And there you go. Now, well, one thing I always do is I like to put things on the screen the way it's going to print in order. I got the shirt down. I'm going to print the yellow first. I'm going to probably print the contact blue second. I'm going to print the metallic. And I might flash. Or maybe I'll put the flash in there after the contact blue, then the metallic. Then I'm going to flash, put down the navy, possibly flash again, and put down the black. That way I got the same order. And that way, and, and this, in this example, it's kind of hard to show because it is on a white shirt. But this way it gives the customer an idea of what it's going to look like. And when we get into more advanced separations, you'll start seeing, hey, you know, we are, we are into, you know, colored shirts. And I can show you what the, color, the stuff looks like on, on colored shirts. Okay, now for the second half of this, of this part, we're going to go into, um, real briefly, go into outputting. Um, so you've got your, everything selected, and I'm pretty sure we're done here. I've, I've looked at everything. Everything looks like it's in, in good overlapping order. So we're going to go to File, Print Preview, and... As you can see, the paper size isn't isn't the size it's supposed to be. Go to page setup, and I'm going to put it on um, on a tabloid size. I think that should fit. Tabloid size. There it is. I'm going to click labels because that's going to tell me what each name of of the channel is. It's going to like you know this one will say yellow. This one will say contact blue, and this is a very a very good tool because. What ends up happening is, is uh, maybe a year down the road, I mean, most customers only order once a year, and, you know, you've got this file saved in your computer. Uh, it's not like the old days when you'd have a big folder full of artwork and just, you know, just hope you could find it when the customer came in the next year, um, or worse yet, actually holding screens. So, you know, the good thing is you, you got ink colors down there, and you can name it anything you want. You can name it like, you know, Well Flex Blue or One Stroke Blue or Union Blue, Damn Good Blue, you know, whatever you want to call it. Whatever, you know, that way you know exactly what ink color it is from year to year. And maybe it's a Pantone match. Maybe you actually mixed this, made a quart container, and, and actually labeled it, you know, Pantone number 649. Um, you know, that way, like I said, a year from now, you know what you're getting into. You, you know exactly what colors, and that way you can hold some nice consistency with your customers, which is a, a major plus. Okay, the second thing we're going to check is registration marks. And that's these little, you know, target shape, you know, little, like a little uh, target shaped icons on each one. That way you can line it up. And one other thing that I use, I use center crop marks. And that shows me where the center of my design is. That way, you know, so some people put down uh, a center line on their platens. And if, if your line is perfectly straight, if you line up the two, the top and the bottom center line, um, your design will be straight. But, you know, just for the sake of it, you know, you also have the, the side ones as well. That way, if you have your lines drawn exactly where, where you want every design to lay, you know, you put down this thing as a lineup sheet and, you know, bang, you got it. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at, and we don't really need to do anything with it, is, is the screens. If you catch screens, and this is where when you start doing halftones uh, and gradients, 
this comes in handy because you'll uncheck this and see what happens in this ink pull down menu is look there's your colors your shirt color your yellow your 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 contact blue and you can set your your frequency here you can set your your line angles and you can also set your shapes but you know there's no need to do that for this because these are all spot colors but so all this is done we're gonna hit done and one other thing I want to show you real quick is if you individually select each channel okay I mean turn everything off make sure it's blue and your little eyeballs there like in this case I got the, the wheat you know I'm gonna zoom into that and pull up this little this little tool here is quite handy if you go to window uh, info okay and what I normally do is here's your info you take whatever tool you have selected in this case it's the magnifying glass put it over the black part see that where it says K K is black is 100% that's good that's what we want we go down here we will make this will select this one make sure the whole sh the whole channel is blue and the eyeballs next to it and it's actually underneath here put your pointer over top there that's 100% now we're gonna do the flesh hundred percent we're gonna do the metallic gold hundred percent navy hundred percent black hundred percent and a lot of this has to do with the fact that you know I've been doing this for a long time and the one that ends up happening is sometimes you don't have a true hundred percent black or a hundred percent because you know sometimes you get like a like an eighty four percent and you know, when you go to burn the screen, you got these half tones, and the color don't come out quite as brilliant as you wanted it to. So, <clears throat> basically, um, that's that in a nutshell. Um, if you want to check out, you know, my other YouTube tutorials, um, you know, please subscribe to my channel because we'll be going into a little bit more advanced uh, color separating. We're going to get into doing some simulated process and some underbasing. Um, in the next tutorial, we will go over underbasing using this design. And, you know, check out my site, uh, GaryRudicell.com. See some of the work I've done. There's also a great tutorial on there um, on index separating that's actually written out. You can actually print it. It's got pictures, close-ups. It's a great tool. So see you next time.